Hello everyone and welcome to the third video on this channel. This is your host LDS Moses and today I will be showing you what I've been working on for the past week. So this server is called the Enderman Society. I have been a member of the server for quite a while though I only recently made like an actual comeback in terms of playtime. So we are on season 4 and it's a lot of fun. Most of the other players have like kind of just stop playing for a while because you know after two months of being on the server it's quite a while especially one that is very much like hermitcraft in essence where we like to play around and but also build huge contraptions huge builds and everything like that so in this world i have about 40 hours of playtime let's see um if you use this server um command you can actually see your playtime one day, 17 hours, and one minute. Three seconds of which, or three seconds, one minute of which was, well, two minutes of which was AFK. And that was actually while trying to record the intro, I, had, I got interrupted and left the computer for a sec. So I have not been AFK in this world at all. This is all progress I've made by just, you know, building. I ha I've made a few friends this season. Um, because I joined late season, as in, I didn't actually start, this has been the past week, so, yeah, but, it's still a lot of fun, even though, like, I'm one of the few who's actually active at this moment in time, um, but yeah, um, so some of the things I've built are things like farms, things like, buildings for these farms, my house of course, and um, my favorite thing I think is the dripstone farm. I I just, I love dripstone farms, and yes, it's a tutorial, but um, it's, either way, it's still a nice build, and I like what I've done to kind of incorporate it into the surrounding area, so yeah. So, today I'm giving you a tour though, of this build. So, we're gonna start with the house. So this house was the first thing I built on the server um, it includes this wood cutting mill so that I can store all my wood stuff on the inside and basically the entire concept of my storage in this build is we've got that like near the moss the agricultural stuff and then like old tools kind of just there we got the wood um, we got the just I mean these are decorative tools as in these tools are used to like till coarse dirt or you know make paths so yeah and then up here we've got my miscellaneous chests and then in the mine we've got my all my stones like well and dirt think just things you find in the mines or while mining so yeah anyway moving on if we go this way we have my pet fox. I need a name for him. First comment with a name for this fox. That's its name. Um, but if moving on, we have my oh my. Oh, it's it's beautiful. I can't even describe it. It's it's a um music generator, a melon farm powered music generator. Yeah, it, it's great. I love it so much. It, it makes me happy, you know, because like every time a melon grows, there's a sound just popping off. No, it didn't have to be like this. I could have just removed this top layer of note blocks and left it as normal blocks because underneath are the actual note blocks. But nope, I wanted to torture myself. So here it is. Anyway, then we've got this. I love it. I call it the 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 stone hoe because it is um a, a stone hoe it covers up the redstone for the uh minecart unloader so yeah then we have the outhouse this outhouse uh wouldn't be functional uh but i made it functional by under where um the stuff should go i put a chest and a furnace and a crafting table so yeah then we've got my dogs uh, one of them's, uh, like, over there. You probably saw it. Yep. And yeah. 
Uh, my nether portal is incomplete, but that's to that's fair because I haven't actually like you know designed anything for it. Um, my enchanting setup is right here. It's going to be a nice build, I think. Uh, I mean, really, it depends on whatever you guys think. Um, if it's actually nice, but I digress. Moving on, we've got the villagers. This is a very small setup because um, I don't really uh have a lot of use for them yet i mean look at me i'm in iron armor but uh yeah then we've got my cactus farm i like this build um it's got it's missing a lot of decoration which are going to go on later because that's like my motto later is better here we have my furnace array that is actually uh, yeah I'll, I'll i'll mention that later here's my cactus yes it does not farm dirt or spruce or deep slate and then here's my collection system for my melons it's pretty great and i i pretty often take out stuff from the setup so that i can you know trade with villagers over here we've got uh, a miscellaneous chest forget forget that one uh over here we have a another miscellaneous chest but over here we have a sugar cane farm this is a flying machine based sugar cane farm and it's quite efficient i kind of just you know like engineered this on my own i didn't really look up a tutorial or anything i just kind of measured it out a little bit used this flying machine from the dripstone farm and yeah it works really great actually because if you take a look down here oh shoot 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 there are no torches but uh if you look down here sugarcane sugarcane not sugarcane 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 yeah and i haven't I like put this in at about the 35 hour mark. So this is mm, no, this was the most recent project. It was so it was more like the 37 hour mark. Um, this the last three hours I spent like putting on the building itself. So I mean it's pretty good. I like it. I'm actually not sure about the hours, but you know it's fine. And then over here we have the dripstone farm. If you look in this chest my dripstone i of course used a lot of dripstone and other stuff for like making blocks and yeah and then uh not that yet over here is our little bridge to the villager breeder the villager breeder was i think this so first i built the house then I built the outhouse because, you know, that's the most important, the second most important building that I could have. Then I built the melon and... No, no, no. Then I built the cactus, started the cactus farm. And then the, the villagers. The villagers are kind of not my priority right now. Yes, they can be useful, but at the same time, most of the stuff is, like, stuff that I would want to sell in the shopping district. And for this season, most players are inactive at this point in time so instead of producing items for the shopping district i'm producing items for myself speaking of which my beautiful iron farm this is a pretty nice iron farm if i do say so myself um it goes into a kill a five by five killing chamber with a seven or eight or whatever by eight or no five by five surrounded by like nine by nine no, no, that's like, hmm, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, not 8, 13 by 13, that's it, 13 by 13, um, catch, whatever, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, it, there's probably not gonna be a golem swan right now because it has, I haven't been in this area for a while, but that's okay. And then, my final thing that I've been, that my most recent project this you may ask what is this it just looks like a standard uh lava farm well no it's not it's a dripstone or lava powered super smelter at least the start of one because so i went to the desert blasted through my shovel i got a lot of sand or my old shovel got a lot of sand and i was like well I want to cook this, but I want to cook it all at once. It's not a lot, but you know what I mean. 
And I was like, well, how am I going to cook this? And then I was like, well, what if I do a super smelter? Well, super smelters are fun, but I don't have a lot of fuel for, like, anything. I have wood, but not a, not a consistent source of wood. So, what I decided to do instead was lava. Easy. It's pretty easy, you know, just lava farm right next to your super smelter. But then I looked, for, looked around and I actually found a design. Um, I can't remember who, who it was by right off the top of my head. But yeah, anyway, that's this is the start of that one. And I've just been slowly filling up the lava and putting it up here. Oh, and also that's my skeleton horse. He also needs a name. Comment, first comment for the skeleton horse um, gets it. Also, if you comment for the fox, um, you can't do the skeleton horse. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's basically what I've been up to this past week since the vending machine tutorial i haven't really been working on redstone like for this week because um i've been busy with this i mean what was it 40 something hours that's that's a long time you know that's a lot of time to be making a or working in a world especially that's more than pe some some people I've worked in this world more than some people work um, at a job in a week. So like, I don't know, it's a lot. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today. This has been LDS Moses with this server tour. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you want. It helps me out a ton and it just lets me, you know, wanna keep doing this because really it's, it's a lot of work. Even though it's fun, it's still a lot of work, so help can be motivated, yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good one, and bye!